most wonderful time of the year is nearly here. I am of course speaking of Victober or the Victorian October Readathon which I am lucky to be a host of again this year with Katie from Books and Things and Kate Howe. Even though there may still be a month to go before the readathon officially begins on October the 1st and then it will run through to October the 31st there is still plenty of opportunity to get excited and today I am going to be talking you through this year's Victober challenges. So for those of you who may be new to Victober, it is the Victorian October Readathon where we try to read Victorian literature during the month of October. I've been a host for a few years now and it is always such a pleasure to take part in and I know that lots of you really enjoy taking part and joining in with all of the reading and also a lot of the activities we do throughout the month too. So all you need to do to participate is watch the host videos, you then choose your TBR based on the challenges or if you just want to read generally around Victorian literature then that's also perfectly okay. We will be posting videos throughout the month and would invite you to post your own videos too on the theme of Victorian literature and what counts as Victorian is any book written between 1837 and 1901 which is when Queen Victoria was on the throne. So let's get on to the 2020 Victober reading challenges which we've had lots of fun coming up with. I will leave links in the description to Katie and Kate's introduction videos where they'll be talking in more detail about their specific challenges and I'll also talk about my challenge in more detail than the other challenges so do watch all three videos so you can get a greater sense of recommendations and ideas for each of the challenges. So the first challenge this year is Katie's challenge which is to read a Victorian book that equates to your favourite modern genre. So if you love reading science fiction for example you could choose to read some Victorian science fiction or if you love detective novels you could read Sherlock Holmes. I really love this challenge because I know when I think about Victorian literature I most usually think of works of realism like George Eliot or Thomas Hardy but I think it would be a really great way of exploring different genres within the overall category of Victorian Victorian literature and I think it's going to be lots of fun. Kate's challenge this year is to read a new to you book or short story by one of your favourite Victorian authors. So for example I love reading Thomas Hardy, he's one of my favourite Victorian authors. I've read books like The Woodlanders, Far From The Madding Crowd, Taz The Dervilles, Jude The Obscure, but I, for this challenge, might like to read something like The Hand of Ethelberta, which is one of the ones I haven't read, or I might choose to read some of his short stories, which I might actually do this Victober. So I love this challenge too. I mean, I love all of these challenges. I think they're so good this year, but this one is going to be great because you get to read a favourite author, but also get to read a new book. Our readers challenge this year was selected by you. We asked you to submit your ideas four challenges and the one that we decided to go with was to read a book that has been on a previous Victober's TBR or if you've never participated in Victober before then you can choose to read a book that you've been meaning to read for a long time. I know that I have got quite a few books on my TBR that were also on previous Victober TBRs that I haven't finished yet so this challenge is going to really come in handy and hopefully I'll get my TBR down a little bit in the process. Last year we had the read by candlelight challenge which was all about the act of reading itself and we wanted a similar challenge this year which wasn't about a specific book but was actually about just enjoying yourself while you're reading and so this year our challenge challenge is to read a Victorian book while dressed in Victorian or Victorian-esque clothing and I'm hoping to film a video specifically on this when I do the challenge. I would encourage you to post on Instagram or make your own videos too if it's something that really interests you. I think that there's going to be a lot of fun ways to play around with this challenge and 
I already can't wait. I'm planning out ideas in my head as to what I could do. And then for the final challenge, we move on to my challenge this year. And I had lots of ideas, but this was the one that stuck with me the most because a lot of the focus of October is on reading Victorian novels or short stories or kind of works of fiction. And I wanted to move away from that this year. And so my challenge is to read a Victorian diary or journal or a collection collection of letters. I love reading different forms of Victorian writing. I get a lot out of Victorian letters for example and I think that Victorian diaries can be incredibly revealing and so that's why I wanted to choose this challenge because even more so in fiction in some ways I think that diaries can tell you a lot about the person who is writing them about the lives they lived and I love social history so they are great ways of preserving history and remembering people's thoughts and feelings and the lives that they lived. So I've got some recommendations for you here that you might like to look at to get started but I would recommend just looking around at your favourite Victorian figures, your favourite Victorian authors and just people in general, having a Google, having a research and see if you can find any of their letters or if they wrote a diary that you can access. So I'm not going to start with a physical book, I'm first going to direct you in the direction of Queen Victoria's diaries. So you can access all of these online, they have been transcribed so you can look and search by date, by figure, by people and places which is really cool. I'm going to be doing a video talking about Queen Victoria's diaries during Victober so I will leave a link in the description to where you can read them and just have a play around with the website is what I'd recommend because it's a really great and useful resource and like I said I'm going to be doing a video on it during Victober so have a read now and then hopefully when you come to watch that video you'll understand a bit more about Queen Victoria and her diaries. For Victorian letters I would really recommend The Brontes A Life in Letters by Juliet Barker which is a selected edition of The Brontes Letters, mainly Charlotte's letters but we've got some from Anne and one or two from Emily, not much from Emily does survive. But I find these incredibly emotional to read. I love reading the earlier letters but as you get to the end, as Emily and Anne die, as Charlotte nears the end of her life, it's incredibly emotional so I always have to bear that in mind as I'm reading them because I just find them incredibly incredibly profound and moving. This is a fantastic edition. There are a few other editions of Charlotte's Letters which I'll link in the description as well but this is the edition that I would recommend. The next book isn't a recommendation as such because I haven't read it yet but it's one that I will be reading during Victober and I wanted to point you in its direction again. So this is The Diaries of Hannah Culwick, A Victorian Maidservant and this was edited and introduced by Liz Stanley. So Hannah Cowick was a Victorian maidservant. I have read different extracts from this before. It was featured quite heavily in Ruth Goodman's How to Be Victorian which is how I heard about it and I think it's so important to read different letters and journals from various different people of various different classes and status. So she worked as a maidservant, she's not going to have the same perspective on life as a Victorian lady would and that's really great because things like this aren't always preserved, aren't always deemed important but they are incredibly important and she was alive between 1833 and 1909 and this dates really from the 1860s onwards so the latter half of the 19th century. Like I said I can't talk in detail about it because I haven't read it yet but it's one that I will be reading during Victober because I do think it's really important to read lots of different voices. And then the final collection of letters that I'd like to recommend to you today is this collected edition of Letters of Mrs Gaskell, also known as Elizabeth Gaskell, who wrote North and South, Cranford, and I've been dipping in and out of these. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of letters. How many in fact? About 600 letters in here which is incredible to some fascinating figures like just opening up this page here's a letter that Elizabeth Gaskell sent to George Eliot and another one that she sent to her publisher George Smith who was also Charlotte Bronte's publisher and the letter is about Charlotte because Elizabeth Gaskell wrote 
the biography of Charlotte Bronte after her death and there was kind of lots of problems around that and surrounding that and lots of people who were quite unhappy and I just love seeing the different places where she was and what she was doing and who she was talking to and who she was sending letters to and there's just some incredibly famous Victorians in here and you might not read all of this during Victober but I think I wanted this challenge to be something that could be really fun so you might read lots of different letters but not read an entire collection you might just search for Victorian letters I just wanted to make it as fun as possible so I'm going to try and read lots of different letters and diaries that doesn't necessarily mean I'm reading like one edition or one book I just want to look around and see what I can find and I think that's the really exciting thing about this challenge for me this year is that I want it to be so you can go away and think what am I interested in let's have a look and see if it exists and let's find these people that we might not have heard of before and so that's why I can't wait to get stuck in. Then the final bit of Victoria news that I need to share with you is this year's group read along which I was so excited about. I tried not to talk about it because I didn't want to influence the vote because my favourite book was on the list and it has been selected. My favourite book of all time is Shirley by Charlotte Bronte and this is the group read that all of you selected this year so I am of course over the moon with that. This was published in 1849 and it is my favourite book. I don't think it's Charlotte's best book personally. It's very different to Jane Eyre and I think that for me is why I love it. It's a book about industrialisation but it's also a coming of age story about two women who are growing up and becoming women in the early part of the 19th century and so it is about women's place in the world and how that's changing. It's about wanting more for yourself as a woman but also conforming to what it means to be a woman and I've got an entire video on the book where I discuss it which I did as part of the Bronte book club that I hosted in 2018 so you can go and watch that if you'd like to but I'm sure I'll be talking about it more throughout Victober. So that's all you need to know for the Victober announcement. The readathon will start on the 1st of October and run through to the 31st of October. Don't forget that all the information and all the links that you need will be in the description so go and check them out and go and watch Katie and Kate's videos too so that you can see what they've recommended for their challenges. I've got lots of exciting videos planned for Victober that I really hope that you'll enjoy and lots of books for my TBR that I'm planning on reading that I cannot wait to get stuck into. I'm looking forward to my challenge and also seeing what I can read for the other challenges. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you'll be participating in Victober in October and happy reading!